Hi, I'm Bill Earl, fine art photographer and image maker. Today I'd like to share with you my first experience using the neural filters in the latest version of Photoshop. This is my first experience, so I may stumble through it a little bit, but that's how we learn. In this case, I want to look at the landscape mixer neural filter. Okay, I wanted to take you through a little demo that I had put together, just experimenting with some of the new neural filters that are in the latest version of Photoshop. So I started with this base image, which is a landscape shot that I made a few years back um, while in Iceland. <coughs> Excuse me, I do actually like it as it is, um, and I thought it would be a good candidate to uh, have a look at the neural filters and in particular the landscape filter. So starting with the base image, then you go up to filter, neural filters, and this panel will come up, click on landscape mixer. Now if, if you haven't yet used it, there's a little down arrow cloud that will appear. You have to click the download, you'll get the presets and it'll be ready to go. It does do the processing on the local machine as opposed to the cloud, so that's really very nice. So once you're there, if you click on one of these, it'll start to process and it'll process it on the local device as you can see down here. It takes a few minutes and um, I did go through each of the presets just to see what the results would be. I'm not going to bore you with waiting through all of the processing once this one's done. I will show you the output from each of the presets. So that's what that one yielded. Now typically what I like to do is output it to a new layer, click OK, and you'll get a new layer with that filter applied. I like that it actually copies the the base and makes a, a totally new layer. Gives you more control. So let's turn that off. So let's start to look at the variations. And again, I just I clicked through all of the 15 presets and did one custom with a base reference Im image of my own from Death Valley. So the first one changes it to a winter scene, which actually I think in this case works well. It's got a good feel to it. The tones are very wintry. It's blue and cold. These are just clicking the preset with no manual adjustments or anything. I just want to see what it would give us right out of the box. That one's not too bad. I think it's also important that whatever, whatever you produce, that it's believable. That's a little heavy. Not sure that's believable. But again, we could, we could fiddle with the opacity and do different things to sort of tone it down a little bit. Um, I don't, I'm not a fan of sort of one-click filters and walk away. Um, I like to have some control over what my images look like. However, these filters cannot be ignored. This one is sort of unrealistic and not really doing anything for me. That one's not bad. Green, it added green in the trees, as you can see. So it took what was obviously a, a fairly cold winter landscape and made it into something clearly other than winter. That one's sort of neon grass, not a big fan of that one. Although you could fiddle with the colors and, you know, dial it in a little bit more and make it something that you're more comfortable with. Uh, this puts some sort of mountains and things in the background in the sky. Not bad, but I'm not really feeling that one. This one, not so much. Sort of a rocky, rocky feel. I mean, from a rocky feel perspective, it works. This one's not bad. There's like some tree-covered mountains in the clouds here, which is... I think it's believable, and that's important. It actually added some trees over here, which is very interesting. You can see what it did. Um, it's pretty incredible what these things what these things do. Not so much on that one. That's another sort of a wintry thing. That's probably believable. 
layer 12 eh, not so much on that one um, the sky and the the background in the sky is a little heavy um, you could obviously you could take that out it's somewhat believable but it's, it's a stretch in my opinion this one's not horrible um, tones are don't look real natural to me this one's definitely believable that one's not bad at all um, I actually kind of like that one it definitely works there's the original the filter again that's a little heavy maybe a little bit unrealistic but with a little bit of adjustment I think you could make it make it more appealing and make it more believable this last one is the one I did with my reference image which I actually like a lot um, it's a little more subtle and I tend to gravitate a little more towards the the subtle so let me show you the base image that that was taken from which is this one here this was the base this lower image is the base reference image that was used for that one so to do a custom we're going to go into the base image we're going to go to filter neural filters and this can be a little tricky I had a little trouble because if you just go in there and you click custom it doesn't work so I click custom then I click one of these then I click custom then I select an image and didn't like that actually it did so there's my image so then I'm going to click OK see the image comes up it's actually processing as you can see down here and you'll see the results so that's how you do a use a custom image um, I fumbled a little bit with it um, this was my first attempt at using it at all so apologies if I fumbled around a little bit but that's how you learn it, it is, I mean, my computer is fairly powerful, so this does take some horsepower to run. And there you go. So I'm just going to cancel out of that. So that's, uh, that's the quick, quick demo, my first look at the neural filters using the landscape mixer in the new version, or I should say the latest version, of Photoshop.